okay okay so when we try to create a new field okay if we go to any of our uh, objects any a subject and when you try to create a field okay there's a field which is called formula field okay so that field is pretty important because that field is a read only field and it is in this what we can do is we can add certain formulas okay and depending on the formula depending on the criteria that we create the records will automatically have some field values okay so let's say if you want to calculate some kind of information depending on some other fields okay in that case you can have something called formula fields so let's say you're trying to calculate if some deal is maybe high value deal or not okay if the pricing or, or the, if the amount of that particular deal is more than maybe fifty thousand dollars then you want to check that as a as a, a as a maybe high value deal okay so and depending on that checkbox if you want to trigger something like if you want to trigger some workflow rule or something that you can do using formula fields okay so formula fields are read only fields these are system generated fields okay so system will automatically calculate depending on any kind of change so whenever the amount field is getting changed okay then this particular formula field value will be calculated again okay so that is the use of the formula field you can also have some kind of complicated operations depending on the formula fields like let's say if the stage is changing of the opportunity okay and depending on the stage if you want to calculate some kind of probability or some percentage so that calculation you can put inside the formula field okay and there are two types of formulas one is simple formula and one is advanced formula so in the advanced formula we have lots of uh, uh, functions available inbuilt functions those functions also we can go ahead and we can use okay so if we have covered formula field properly only then we will be able to do the validation rule or any kind of automation because all those automation depends on some kind of entry criteria only when some criteria is fulfilled then that validate uh, that uh, workflow will trigger or approval process will trigger or process builder will trigger so that is why formula field is important because this is the first part from where we'll start the automation okay so that is about the formula field okay and this is always depending on some other field okay so depending on the other field whatever calculation we give inside the formula field that will be done by the salesforce environment okay and this is a read only you cannot go ahead and manually change this field even for system admins you will not have access to change this field value okay so that is about the formula field so for that you can use it on any s object or maybe a custom object standard object you can put in your calculation okay okay so let's try to go to any of the account here okay so let's say the potential value or some kind of value of this particular deal okay of this account which is generated is this much amount okay now depending on this particular amount if you want to update some kind of field in opportunity using the formula field that you can do or if the amount of the opportunity is exceeding certain limit okay let's say if it's or if you're submitting that uh, 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 opportunity for approval for less than let's say hundred dollars so that doesn't make sense you don't need approval for that okay so in that case you should not uh, go ahead and do that so so all these kind of calculation which are happening dynamically depending on the values that you put inside the record okay so these calculations can be done on the based on the formula fields okay okay so let's say we have another scenario uh let's say there is a, there are uh, sales representatives who will be getting uh some kind of uh, commission depending on the deals that they crack okay so let's say in this amount so the total amount here is some three hundred thousand dollars okay three hundred twelve four four five six thousand dollars okay so this amount if the amount exceeds let's say hundred thousand dollar then they're supposed to get certain uh this uh, certain uh, what you call commission percentage so they'll get maybe 30 percent or if there's another business rule when the uh, deal value is between like 50,000 to 100,000 then they'll get less percentage something like that so if that business rule is defined in that form so that business rule we can uh, achieve using the formula fields okay let's say we have a business rule in which let's say opportunity okay so if the opportunity amount is great uh, greater than okay uh, let's say one thousand dollars 
okay if the opportunity amount is greater than thousand dollars then they are entitled of getting let's say five percent okay so they should get a commission of five percent commission okay so this is the first rule now let's say the second rule if the amount is greater than let's say uh, maybe twenty thousand okay and it is let's say less than maybe fifty thousand okay so if between these two the limit if they if you want the commission to be uh, let's say ten percent so our commission will be ten percent okay and the third rule is if it's like more than hundred thousand if the amount is greater than hundred thousand so this is like sales representatives is getting the business so much of business to the company right so they should give them some kind of uh, gift or some kind of uh, advantage if they to keep them more motivated so that they can get you know higher value deals okay so in order to achieve them achieve this business functionality or business rule we can use make use of our formula field so that uh, commission will be automatically calculated depending on the business rule that we give now let's say if the amount is greater than 100000 in that case if you want to give a commission which is great uh, which, uh, which should be like let's say 30% or 30% is too high so we can give something like 20% of commission okay so the sales representative will be more tempted to crack deals which is higher value so they'll pitch the uh, the opportunity or the contacts uh, for more sales right so this is in terms of uh, business they, they this is like getting more business to the company okay so these kind of business rules are uh, implemented in almost every company almost every product based company or service based companies okay so depending on the deals that they crack they get some certain kind of kind of commission i think all the sales representative get some kind of commission from the deal that they crack okay so if this company has a business rule like this this and this we can achieve using a formula field okay so what we'll yeah yeah this we can change let's say a later requirement comes and they they change the some kind of discrepancy happened that maybe sales rep are demanding for more uh, commission okay or maybe the business is going down so the company wants to revise that so then you can come down and you can change that limit okay. so older value which are already exist in the database they will be same okay unless you update that once again unless that field is updated on once again that value will not be changed okay so let's say we have a record okay let's say we have a one is and maybe let's say some company is there for solar so we have solar company solar co something okay so this opportunity is there and in this opportunity it was created when the commission was this much percentage okay so the amount was let's say amount was uh, more than hundred thousand so we have something like maybe let's say two hundred thousand okay so this was the amount okay and the commission that the uh, that the uh, sales rep got was 20% of this that means it is like 4,000 no 40,000 right yeah 40,000 okay so this much the commission that person got okay now let's say the rule has changed and if um, let's say the company went down and the business is like less so 100,000 if the deal is cracked for let's say 200,000 this was amount was already present I mean this amount was already updated it, it will remain the same only right so now in this case commission will still be the same even if the rule changes from 20% to maybe 10% so unless this record is updated once again the, the opportunity once it is closed and it one once it is one then nobody is going to come back and update that again right okay because most of the times most of the companies what they'll do if the deal is locked closed one then they will lock the deal I mean they'll they'll have to change the settings to lock it so that nobody can change that opportunity again now if it, that is still available let's say somebody changes this from some value let's say hundred thousand unless this value is changed the depending formula field will not change okay so if somebody changes this one then this will be changed to, to twenty thousand okay if this one remains same if this hundred uh, if this value remains same to two hundred thousand only so this value will not be changed 
okay unless this main value which is the depend dependent value if uh, i mean the the value on which some other formula field is depending if this is not changing then the formula field value will not change okay so rohan is that is that point clear like uh, when will the value change yeah yeah after update only mm -hmm. yeah after the update of that particular field only even no if some other field uh, yeah. is updated then that field is not depending on the formula field so that will not change correct correct okay okay so the relevant or the one which is in context that should change yeah there's some network issue inside my house also for cell cell network okay 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 so let's say we have the business rule noted down here okay we have got the requirement from the company or the client and they ask us to create some rule like this okay now in that case uh, how will we go ahead and we will achieve this so we just have to create a formula field so as this is on the opportunity itself okay so we can go to the opportunity and we can create a new formula field okay as of now let's say what all fields we have let me just check it out if we have any kind of commission field already created okay so these are the standard fields so we have some formula field here days left days to close that is fine then high value deal that is okay then my formula field that is also fine okay okay so that is okay we can go ahead and we can create a new formula field okay so we go here and we can go to new from here or we can go to the handle also and we can click new okay so we can go new here okay and from here we can go ahead and create a formula field so as it says read only field that derives its value from a formula expression that we define so whatever expression that we define the value will be calculating depending on that particular formula okay and formula field is updated when any of the source field changes unless the source field from where the formula is getting derived if that source field is not changed formula field will not change okay okay so let's go ahead and let's click next so now there are several types of formula fields depending on the result of the formula okay so the expression that we derive okay so that expression could give a result of maybe a boolean type or maybe a text type or it could be a number type or it could be a date type okay let's say we want to uh, calculate the date for something let's say we have a start date for the opportunity and we have a end date for opportunity okay we want to calculate the remainder how many so if how many days are like available to close that opportunity okay so those kind of a calculation which depends on date that means the result will be in the form of date right or if we are trying to do some calculation depending on currency so let's say here we are trying to calculate a commission so commission will be in form of uh, currency right if the percentage is already defined then that percentage of the actual amount will be in result of a, cu a currency itself so that resultant data type we have to choose here okay or we, if you want to calculate whether the deal is open or closed depending on the difference between the uh, start date and the end date if the end date has already passed then we want to check one box saying that deal is closed or the deal has the close date is passed if you want to do some kind of true or false calculation so if the result is going to be in a form of either true or false then we have to use check box okay or if we have to count the number of let's say some some kind of number number of uh, agents which are involved or number of prop, uh, items which are involved in opportunity if the if that uh, resultant of the calculation is in form of number or percentage then we have to choose the corresponding type of uh, formula field okay now also if we want to have some kind of text calculation let's say we want to concatenate two type of text if you want to calculate uh, the um, name of the or some kind of field in the opportunity depending on the name of the opportunity plus the name of the account if you want to concatenate those two then that also you can do here they have given an example for full name so you can create a formula field for full name and you can add last name and you can give one comma and you can give first name depending on your business requirement if you need to also have a full name and last name of the opportunity or of the contact 
okay so that you can go ahead and you can add okay so these kind of uh, these formula return types are available that means the resultant or the answer which will be in in these form of data type okay so here we have to use currency field why because whatever calculation we have to do depending on the commission percentage the cal uh, the result will be in form of currency itself how, mu how many dollars or how much amount the uh, the sales rep has, uh, has got in form of currency uh, in form of uh, commission so that we have to calculate so that we can use currency itself okay so here they have given an example like gross margin equals to amount minus cost so whatever is involved in the cost maybe of that opportunity they'll deduct and the answer will always be in form of currency okay so that is why the calculation the uh, the result the result data type should be in form of currency okay so now if you choose currency if you want to calculate percentage also then you can choose percentage also because here it's percentage uh, i mean decimal also you can involve it so as its percentage is involved here so we don't know if the decimal can come or decimal cannot also come so we have to give two places of decimal i've already given okay so now we can add some field call maybe commission okay and this field name will be automatically taken so we are trying to calculate a commission okay so we go next okay so there's something called simple formula so if you don't have like uh, elaborate business rule if you just want to calculate let's say 10 percent so you can merge field you can use the merge field so on which field you want to do the calculation if you don't remember the expression you can take it from the uh, directly from the merge field itself okay so it's giving only these many fields option because only on these many fields you can do some kind of uh, calculation which is resulting in a in a what you call in a currency so you can take amount and you can divide it by let's say 10 if that is a fixed percentage you can divide it by 10 and you can check the syntax and then you can uh, save the formula so this is a simple formula if let's say your company is providing 10 percent blindly to all the uh, sales representatives to any deal they crack okay so this is a simple formula that you can do now if you want to add something more to it okay like conditions you have you have different different conditions here right depending on these conditions we have to calculate the commission so for that we need some kind of advanced formula okay so advanced formula is just you have some certain operators which are added to that so these operators are available for you so apart from that you if you need some kind of functions like and operator or operator okay if you want to add those conditions also so you can go here and you can go to logical operators and you have and if okay is blank is number not or all these form uh, functions are available for you if you want to do some kind of date and time calculation if you want to get the hour minute month all these things you can check it out okay so first of what i want you guys to do is go home today and go through all these functions at once if you just move the mouse here or if you just click that particular function it will give you the details of that function what that function will do okay so get familiar with this function at least read it once so that you will have an idea like what all functions are available for your use okay so what all functions are available so which you can include in your form formula so depending on that you can uh, achieve some kind of requirement which is provided to you using the formula field okay so formula field is not only used only for this same calculation you can also trigger something depending on the formula field okay so it can have several dependencies also like record types could be there like up update operation insert operation or maybe some kind of workflow rule or some approval process is triggering on this formula field okay so there are lots of calculation which can be dependent or which can be achieved using formula field okay so for that what you can do is you just go to all functions here and just go through each of them one by one and see what it does okay so that you will have to you will have an idea like what all things are available for your use in this formula field okay 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 so now let's get back to our operation okay or our uh, formula field here so first what we have to do is we have to check if the amount is greater than 100000 okay so if its amount is greater than 100000 then commission will just calculate as 20% so there is also so here we can use if condition 
okay here we can use if else condition so what we can do is we can do something like if let's say uh, amount is greater than 100,000 okay then we can do uh, we can do let's say amount okay divided by 20 okay so that will give you our 20% uh, of commission okay or this part is the if part if this condition becomes true then this part will be executed from here to here okay so how if condition is designed is you have a if then you have a bracket inside that bracket you have two colons one colon here one colon here so before the first colon you have to give the condition okay you have to put the condition here okay now if this condition re results to true then this true part will be executed okay and if this condition results to false then this part will be executed so this is the else part i mean this is the else part from here this false part is the else part if the condition results to false then this else part will be executed this is the if part if the condition becomes true then this part will be executed whatever you write inside this true part okay so taking this template we have to design our formula here Okay, so if amount is greater than 100,000, then blindly we'll give 20% commission and that will be resulting here. Okay, now this is the if condition is true, then this will happen. Now in the else condition, we have to put what should happen if this condition is false. Okay, so if amount is not greater than 100,000, that means it is less than 100,000. So if it's less than 100,000, then it could be either in the range of 50,000 to 20,000 or it could be less than this 20,000 and greater than 100, 100 uh, 1000 okay so that we have to do okay so here we can also add another condition amount is greater than 1000 but amount is less than 20,000 okay so if amount ranges between 1000 to 20,000 then it will be like that if 20,000 to 50,000 then it will be 10%. If greater than 100,000, then 20%. Okay, so that that part we have covered. This part is covered. If its uh, amount is greater than 100,000, then we blindly give 20% of discount. Now this is the if part. Okay, now we have to give the else part. In the else part, if this is greater than, if this is not greater than 100,000, that means it is less than 100,000. So in the less than part, we can check it out if the then again in the else part so this else part will put take it down okay so this else part will take it let's say here do not create any confusion okay so now inside this else part also we can give more if conditions because here we need two more if conditions right if it is greater than 50000 uh, less than 50000 and greater than 20000 or if it's less uh, greater uh, less than 20000 and greater than 1000 so there are two more ifs required Okay, so you can let me know if it's getting confusing. Okay, so inside this else part, we have to give another if condition. Okay, so another if condition, what it will be? Here we have to give, let's say if the amount is greater than 50,000. Okay, one condition is this and then we have to choose and also so then we will have to put all this thing inside our and condition and this either this condition and along with that we have another condition if it is like greater than amount is greater than 20,000 okay so our and is complete so this if part is fine okay now if part we have got the condition we have given if it's like greater than 20,000 or no sorry. amount is less than less than 50,000 50, yes amount is less than 50,000 and greater than 20,000 so our if condition is gone so now we need to define what will happen if in case this condition becomes true so if in case the condition becomes true then we have to give amount divided by 10% okay so this is our if condition of the second in nested if 
okay now here we have to choose one else condition also if this is not true okay if this if it is if this is also not true this is also not true <clears throat> so then what we have to do then we just have to simply put one else condition so else condition we can just simply do amount is divided by 5% that is it okay so the loop will come inside only if the amount is greater than this thousand it so there are three conditions if this is true or this is true or this is true I mean it will check for only if this is true or this is true if these two both of them are not true automatically it will go to the third one okay is this point clear like if if will have if also else also so if if will only execute when this if is true so if it, it is true then it will execute this part if it's not true that means it is coming to the else part so this is our else part from here to here so this is the else condition so in else condition what will happen it will again check if the amount is greater than 20,000 and less than 50,000 so it is checking both the conditions both the conditions should be true okay if it is that true then it will calculate 10 percent if this condition also is false this condition is false then obviously this condition should be true the else part it will come automatically and that means it will come to so if it is not greater than 100,000 that is it means it is less than 100,000 and if it's less than 100,000 then if it's less than 50,000 and greater than 20,000 if both the conditions are not true that means it is not greater than 20,000 it is less than 20,000 so whatever is less than 20,000 if you want to calculate it directly we don't want this third condition if we want whatever is less than let's say less than 20,000 directly we want to give commission of 5% we don't want this limit of 1,000 also so this is what it will do okay now let's say if you want to implement this condition also then you will have to put another if here so just for demonstration I'm using that so if one more point yes so in this case suppose if I say uh, if I say 200 uh, 200 dollar my opportunity amount okay so 200 is greater than uh, first condition na? so it will come under true no, no no i'm not getting the point 200 dollars 200 dollars you're saying the amount 200 dollar yeah but the 200 dollar is greater mm -hmm. than uh, 1 lakh right 100000 no 200 is how how no, 200 is greater no. Okay, okay, no, no. After formula, I was thinking. Okay, got it. Got it, got it. Okay. No. I was just thinking this this is fine. And reverse way also we can put it, right? Reverse way. Like, actually, uh, we should have gone reverse way only. That would be simpler. So we can go, let's say amount is let's say greater than that's why I, <laughs> so much, okay. yeah. it's actually we came in the ulta way. So don't worry. So <laughs> if, if we give, um, uh, give amount is greater than let's say 1000 okay if it's greater than 1000 then it could be 20000 also it could be 50000 also it could be 100000 also so to make it appropriate or make it like very accurate we have to give greater than 1000 and it should be less than what is it 20000 20, so only if it the margin is between 20000 to 1000 then it will come inside this okay so that is our one condition now second condition we can also give is now if it's greater than 20,000 okay so if amount is greater than 20,000 so how greater is it is it like more than 100,000 or more than so that we have to give if it's greater than 100,000 and if it is less than 50,000 so if the margin is between these two then we have to give okay and there is some kind of issue with the uh, business rule also let's say somebody is uh, greater than 50,000 but less than 100,000 then what will happen so they will not get any commission so instead of this 100,000 I have to give here 50,000 okay so if it is like greater than 50,000 he'll get 20% if it's less than 50,000 and between 20,000 then he'll get this much condition this much commission if it is between 20,000 to 1,000 he'll get this much commission if it is less than 1,000 then no commission at all okay maybe that much amount is not relevant to the company at all okay so is this is this understood
yeah okay so according I did not get what, what sorry yeah, the range we can give it in three different uh, steps also no at like 20000 to what uh, 120000 in between to 5% commission like that also we can give the range right? Right. like that also we can do see yeah. inst instead of if else we can do directly if also but that is not efficient because in case of if else what will happen it will only calculate this part if this condition is false let's say in the first time only if he got this condition true then he don't have to he don't need to go through the third condition also na so you don't need to go this part so why do you want to do extra calculation when this is not uh, in the picture at all so it yeah so it will reduce the execution time so that is why we have we are using if else getting the point so if the margin is directly inside this then why do you need to go for this calculation at all you don't need to go the go here at all okay if it's already satisfied in the first condition then you don't need to move on okay so here only the execution will stop and the formula will be calculated that's it so you so ex excessive of uh, what you call processing time is not required here we are talking about just one field what if we are using data loader and we are uh, loading some maybe 50000 records in that case the execution will just just waste it will it will waste some time to do these two calculations right amount is greater than uh, 50000 and amount is greater than let's say 50000 okay so these two calculations will be done unnecessarily so here double the processing time is going in a waste if we insert some more records maybe from data loader or import wizard okay so for one record it's fine but for if in case of we have to always take care of the bulk operations also because you never know that they might use data loader also in that case our formula field will break okay so that is why we have to think of the future also okay is that point clear hello yeah uh, I think uh, Shashank. Okay, okay. So I think my phone is dying. Okay, so I'll just. Uh, what you can do is you can. Okay. Okay, so once we have got the formula field okay once we go to the formula field then we go to the advanced section and then we can insert our operator here so insert our if formula here so in this if what we will do is we will put our logical test okay so what is the test that we are going to do we are going to do an amount field so amount field directly also you can type or you can insert from the merge field also so you can insert from here so insert our amount field and amount is if it is greater than maybe uh, 50,000 okay so in that if this condition is true then what we want to do then we want to just calculate the amount and divide it by uh, divided by 20 percent so we have to give 20 percent commission so we can directly write amount field also if that that is correct so we can divide it by let's say 20 so whatever is the commission divided by 20 they will get it now if in case this if this condition is false okay so value if false so if, if if it is false then what then what we have to do then we have to put another if condition so inside this if we have to give another logical test that logical test will be amount or i'll give it in the next line so that it will be more readable okay so here we have to check if the amount is greater than uh, amount is greater than 1000 or maybe 20,000 yeah we will choose a second condition so if amount is greater than 20,000 20,000 yes and then we have to choose and also so we have to give and condition right so that and is in a separate format so that and we have to put from here so we go to logical operator and then we use and so this and we have to cut and we have to paste it here now inside this and condition we have to give all the conditions together amount greater than 20,000 and amount is less than 
fifty thousand. Okay, so that and conditions we have to give separated by com a. So logical one, this is one operation, and the second operation will be amount is less than fifty thousand. So in the range of fifty thousand to twenty thousand, this will be the condition. Okay, so or if condition is this is the condition that we have given. So both the of them should be true. Only in that case, this will evaluate to true. Okay, that is the property of and. And means first condition, second condition, both of them should be true. Only then the resultant will be true. If we have to uh, check something like only if one condition is true, then we have to use or and not and. Okay, you guys getting the point? Let me know if it yeah. gets confusing. Yeah. Okay. 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 Fine. So now, if this condition is true, then what we have to do? If the value is true, in that case, what we have to do is we have to calculate the amount divided by we have to give 10% commission. Right. Now, if that is true, then we have to give this much. Then, if it's not true, that means if it is false. So even even the range is not greater than 50,000, the amount is not greater than 20,000. The amount is that means it is less than 20,000. Okay, so in that condition, we just have to give one five um, percent of commission. Okay, so in that case, what we have to do is simply just calculate amount is divided by five. So that means if all this condition and this condition both of them will be false, then this con this resultant will be calculated. Okay, and one important thing about this is you have to make the syntax correct. If you miss out any of the brackets or any any of the commas, then this formula will be wrong. And it will not calculate anything so we have to check the syntax so once we check the syntax and the uh, the resultant is green that means there is no syntax error okay then we have to move, move ahead now if you want you can give some description also or if you want you can do, give some help text also so you can this uh, automatic uh, commission calculation so all these things will be all these formulas will be given to you by the business requirement itself so the ba will only give you these things so that will be some in some kind of excel sheet or some kind of word document so that is called business document so that will be provided now then the architect will be converting all these things into what how you have to achieve that using formula field or using some trigger however you have to achieve that will be done with the architect so once it comes to you then you will have to handle this according to your feasibility okay okay so let's say we have done till that first commission okay spelling mistake okay so let's go ahead and click next okay so our formula is created so the similar to in creating any other field if you want to put visibility all those things you can handle here okay same thing as creating any other field so this is also a field itself this is that calculation is happening automatically. So same page layout itself, uh, marketing sales, which page layout you want to add it, you can add it. Okay. Okay. So our formula field is created. Now, if you go to the custom field here, we can say commission field is already created. Okay. Now, if we go to our fields or if we go to our opportunities, we'll delete this part. Okay. If you go to any of this opportunity, let's say this one, this one, these three opportunities we have opened. Okay, and let's see if our formula is working or not or if not then we have to debug it so as of now see the commission is becoming zero and let's check out the amount what is the amount where's the amount field amount is this field okay so let's try to give amount which is let's say 1000 okay which is less than 20,000 obviously so we'll save it and let's see if the commission is getting calculated and if our formula is correct or not so automatically it's giving $200 commission, which is how much percentage is it? So 5%, right? So 200 is 1000 is 5%. Yeah, yeah, 5%. Correct, right? So this is calculating fine. Yeah. So our first business rule is uh, achieved so if it's 1000 then it is coming fine let's say if it is like 19,000 which is still less than 20,000 in that condition let's see what happens so our commission should be 
less than should be should be still five percent so it is still five percent only okay and as you see here it is locked that means it is not editable it is just read only okay now let's say the or check we well, let's check out the second condition second condition was if it is in the range of uh, 20,000 and 50,000 if it is less than 20, 50,000 if it's greater than 20,000 so let's check out that if it is like 20,100 okay let's check it out and let's see what how much commission that person person is getting so he's, get, he's getting 2000 commission which is 10 percent right so 2100 is 10 percent of uh, it's 10 percent is 2010 okay so our second condition is also met now let's say this is somewhere around let's say 49000 which is less than 50000 in that case it should still calculate us all uh, it should still give us 10 percent only so let's say it is like even 50000 so till 50,000, it should give us only 10% commission. 5,000. Yeah, so it should it come somewhere around 5,000. Okay. So, okay. Greater than or equal to it is taking. Uh, huh? So it is taking uh, greater than or equal to. Uh, let's check out our field ones. Commission. Okay. Let's check out the formula. Oh, see, amount is less than fifty thousand. Uh, mm, uh, so if yeah. fifty thousand is not included, fifty thousand one we have to say here. Ah, uh, fifty thousand one or fifty thousand point point decimal or whatever it is. So we have to make something like that. So even if it's less than fifty thousand, then it will take it as ten percent only. If it becomes fifty thousand, that means it will come in the last part. Hey, sorry, this part. Yeah, or else we can say. Yeah, or else we can say fifty thousand equal to. Huh, less than, less equal, than equal to less than equal to correct we can do that okay so where we should add less than before or after here less only we have to add less than, no no less than uh, is equal to uh, before uh, less than or after the sign less than we can edit that and we can check it out less than equal to i don't think that is available but we should have some way to achieve that let's say insert operator we have less than less than or equal, equal. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is yeah. there so here we can remove it and we can insert our operator as less than or equals okay and here yeah. also we'll check greater than or equal okay greater than or equal so from 20,000 to 50,000 it will come in under this so if it's greater than 50,000 then this should come this is fine right mm. This is fine, yeah. Or in the else condition, it should come. Now let's go ahead and quick save it. <clears throat> okay, let's come back to our record. Okay, let's just refresh and let's see if this changes to 5%. So it has changed to 5% now. So this is giving our correct calculation. Okay, so till 50,000, it will give only 5%. Now if you give 50,000 anything more than 50,000, so it should calculate it as 10% now it should get a 10% okay so now it should give us a hmm? we have done some kind of mistake in our uh, formula itself it is calculating how much percentage is it 2.5% or uh, something yeah, 50, Five thousand is ten percent. Oh, so this is calculating five percent. Five percent. Why is it calculating five percent? Greater than fifty thousand. So amount is greater than fifty thousand, then it should calculate twenty percent, right? Then why is it coming here? Decimal. Less than or equal. We start adding decimal. <coughs> decimal um, okay let's check this out if we make it as 50,001 okay we will not consider it a decimal as of now 
now it is still calculating that so there is some mistake with our formula itself it should give something like if you calculate maybe 100,000 <coughs> sorry give me 100,000 it is calculating 5% only so there is something wrong with our formula actually if greater than 50,000 then it's 20% then how come is it not coming it's not coming greater than 50,000 why is it coming here mm. means it is not going in first condition always it is land up land up into third condition uh, it is not coming here amount is greater than 50,000 but this amount is greater than 50,000 now is greater than 50,000 then how come it is calculating 5,000 only 5,000 is how much percentage this is 5% right it's 5% it's calculating 5% that means it is coming here so what we can do if it is let's say less than 20,000 okay so if it is less than 20,000 then we want to give 5% commission hmm? and then if it is amount is greater than equal to 20,000 and amount is less than equal to 50,000 then we have to give 10% and if the amount is something else then we have to give 20% hmm. let us save this now and let us refresh this let's see what happens so it is still calculating five percent only so something is wrong with our formula that we have created okay let's say we remove this greater equal to let's check out what happens an equal to let's say less than twenty thousand five percent that is okay so greater than twenty thousand and less than 50,000 okay so let's give another condition here okay let me just undo this hmm. and let us put another condition here if amount is less than ho gaya, greater than ho gaya, now it should be like greater than 50,000 then we have to give amount as less than amount should be this much mm. okay and no need to write else part also right yeah no need to write the else part let's I think there's some issue with the syntax I might have missed out something in the syntax yeah so one bracket is missing here <coughs> you have to give this bracket here okay let me check the syntax incorrect number of parameter it is expecting three parameters here which is this parameter mm, so we have to give one condition what should happen if in case of if or else mm. How do we resolve this? If it will not get executed. You can just write zero also, no? It is not going to happen. So means blank. Say so we'll say zero. Yeah. Okay. Amount is zero. So always there is something. Okay, that is right. So let's quick save it and let's try to refresh this and let's see what is happening. So now our hundred thousand amount should result into twenty percent commission, which is twenty thousand yes so it is still calculating five percent itself so maybe there is something wrong with the flow how we are calculating that okay but the basic idea you got now like how to create the formula so we just have to hit and try like do have to do it correctly like what should happen when okay so that once we have noted down or once we have got that part then this should be like according to the way our we are implementing it okay 
so what you can do is you can take this business rule and you can try to implement this in your uh, org okay and we'll check it out okay so yeah. i'll also check from my side like why it is calculating in the wrong way so you guys also test it out and then we'll discuss okay but you got the use of formula field now like where it should be used and how we should use it okay so another task is that you have to go through all these functions okay just at least read once this functions and you'll come to know what all things is available like you can calculate distance exponents find so many things are available okay so go through these also and let let's come with some questions and let me know if you have any doubts okay so we yeah. can include images also you can include hyperlinks also okay url you can get blank null lower case upper case maximum minimum there's so many things that we can achieve okay okay so apart from this you have any other questions any doubts that you want to add or are we good mm -hmm okay so yep. shashank i also want to say that please be on time because we are losing like 10 15 minutes in the early part okay so okay so if joining online then i think you can join at join sharp at eight o'clock okay i'll be available anyways directly you can join you don't have to call okay you can join directly at eight o'clock if there is a cancellation or something i'll let you know or if you guys are doing something else then you can also let me know we'll be keep keep each other informed uh, earlier also okay 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 uh-huh 